Solving systems with the TI Inspire calculator. So easy, it's like cheating. Of all the powerful capabilities of the TI Inspire calculator, perhaps none is more impressive than its ability to solve systems of equations. Earlier, I made quite highly viewed videos on solving systems using the TI-83 and 84 series calculators. With the TI-84 calculator, systems in standard form are most easily solved using matrices while systems in slope-intercept form are most easily solved by graphing. While you can still use both of these methods, graphing and matrices using the TI Inspire, there is another application that makes it so much easier no matter which form of equations you have. When you turn on the calculator, this is what you should see or at least be able to get to by pressing the home button at the upper right of the keypad. By the way, this is the newest TI Inspire operating system released in May 2011. I just got it this month, July 2011. Please follow along using your own calculator. You'll get so much more out of it that way. Go down to the calculator icon on the left at the bottom, press enter. We see the cursor blinking at the top left. Next, press the menu key. Go to option 3, Algebra. Alternatively, you could just press the number 3. Press Enter. Go down to option 2, Solve System of Linear Equations. Press Enter. We have this system of equations to evaluate. It's x plus 4y equals 3 and 2x plus 9y equals 5. We see that we have two equations here in the number of equations field, so that's okay, and we have the default variables of x and y in the variables field. And since everything is correct, we can tab down to the OK button. Press Enter. Enter the first equation, x plus 4y equals 3, on the top line. Press Tab to get to the next line of equations. Now enter the second equation, 2x plus 9y equals 5. Compare the systems carefully to be certain you entered the equations properly. Press Enter. Here's our solution to this system, 7 comma negative 1. It's in brackets on the calculator screen, but it really should be in coordinate pair notation. Now we'll check our solution of 7 comma negative 1 against our equations. And we see that the first equation equals 3 and the second equals 5. Check. Now we go on to the next problem. The cursor is blinking below so we can find the solution to another system or, or to do something else, like make a calculation. Let's look at this system, x minus 3y equals a negative 10, and y equals 1 minus 2x. The curious thing about this system is that one equation is in standard form and the, and the other one in slope-intercept form. If we were using a TI-84 to solve this one, we would either have to convert the standard form equation to slope-intercept form and solve by graphing, or take the slope-intercept form equation and change to standard form and solve perhaps using matrices. But let's see how it's a whole lot easier with the TI Inspire. Press the menu key. Go down to option 3, Algebra. Press Enter. Go down to 2, Solve System of Linear Equations. Press Enter. We have the default value of two equations with variables of x and y, so we tab down the OK button. Press Enter. We enter the two equations without having to change them at all. Press Enter. We get our solution of negative 1, 3. In the interest of time for this lesson, I will just tell you that I checked the answer so we can move on to the next problem. Now we're going to enter this system of equations, e equals 10h plus 5 and e equals 10h plus 2. We get to this view by going to the menu, picking option 3, algebra, then option 2, solve system of linear equations, then enter. We change the variables from x and y to e and h. Part of what we're doing here is to show that we can use variables other than x and y. Tab down to OK and press Enter. Enter the equations as shown, e equals 10h plus 5 and e equals 10h plus 2. Press Enter. We get our answer of no solution found, and if we had been thinking before trying to solve this problem, we would have known that could be, there could be no solution since the equations have the same slope but different y-intercepts. So in this problem we learned that we can use variables besides x and y and also what no solution looks like. Let's look at this system of equations. We have 4x minus 5y equals 20 and y equals 4 fifths x minus 4. Again, we have one equation in standard form and one in slope-intercept form. From here we go to our in input our system of equations by going to menu down to option 3 algebra then option 2 solve system of linear equations then enter. 
Since we have two equations, tap down to the OK button, then press Enter. Enter the equations we have in our system. Press Enter. Here is our answer. In answers, whenever you see this C1 in the X and Y place, that means that the two lines represented by the equations are the same equations and therefore produce an infinite number of solutions. Now we have this system with three equations and three unknowns, x plus 2y minus 3z equals negative 2, 2x minus 2y plus z equals 7, and x plus y plus 2z equals negative 4. Go to Menu, down to Option 3, Algebra, then the Option 2, Solve System of Linear Equations, then Enter. For this system, we need to enter three equations then the variables x, y, and z. When we change the number of equations to 3, the variables automatically become x, y, and z. Tab down to the OK button and press Enter. Enter the three equations. Press Enter. Our solution is 1, comma, negative 3, comma, negative 1. In this lesson, we have done five system of equation problems with the TI Inspire. We've solved systems of equations in different forms. We've used different letters as variables, seen what no solutions looks like, what infinite solutions looks like, and that's when we see a C1. And then we solved the system with three equations and three unknowns. This has been Solving Systems with the TI Inspire Calculator. So easy, it's like cheating. Thanks for viewing.